You wanted it, here it is. I'm gonna show you in this video how to get all these cables connected from your DJI RSC2 to your Sony A7 IV and to your Raven Eye, because there's not a lot of stuff on it. You get this manual with the uh, Pro Kit of the DJI uh, with the Raven um, transmitter, Raven Eye transmitter, and you get this stuff, and that's basically it. Put it on top of your car camera or below. You want to put it below, of course, because stability of things. I got like a Sigma uh, uh, 14 to 24 on this thing, and it's a beast, you know, <laughs> for, for weight-wise. But anyway, make a long story short, let's dive in and let me show you this so we can get clear to show you how to connect it because I did connect it wrong before. So let's look at the side. First off, number one, you connect the HDMI cable here that it comes with down into the Raven Eye on this end of the antennae, okay? Right there, the one on the left, you HDMI to HDMI. Now you take the this USB C to USB, okay, on the side of your uh, camera, down below the bottom one, and you bring this bottom one on the camera all the way to the front, to the, and you put it on the far RSS input of your DJI gimbal, okay? That's the camera feed right there, and you put it here, okay? Not to the Raven Eye. So now that that's done, you gotta create some more loops. So, if you can see down here on the Raven Eye, um, just above it, you have a, uh, you got some more, you got three inputs basically on this DJI uh, device and you got three ports here. So the, the far one, of course I just showed you, goes to your camera at the bottom. And this one here, the second one in, goes to the input of your, Raven Eye right here of this device. And that has a neat little angle um, on its cable to then go back properly so it sits better. I just have these antennas out right now for the demonstration so you can see what's going on. Um, they say put them out, but honestly, I like to put keep them in. Um, it works just fine. And now the third one in here, okay. There's three of them on your gimbal. The third one goes around and into the other end of your Raven Eye, okay? So that's basically the setup that you need to do. I've had these two uh, wrong, the, the three on the DJI here, and I, these were switched, and when that's done, it does an active track, and you're wondering, I can select objects, but the camera won't follow. It's because these two are so important to be in the right spot, connected to the DJI um, RSC2, and that's basically it for that. Um, I, you know, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, but let's continue a bit more here um, so that I can explain some tips that I, I learned about this Raven Eye because it's problematic when you first set it up. So when you get your camera on and you turn, you turn this guy on, it's going to ask you to reset the uh, password. So you got to press six times and then resets and you'll see it on your device. It says to set a password, okay, on your cell phone in the uh, Ronin app. Now, do not do this. Make sure you don't add characters like hashtag and exclamation because you'll never be able to enter the password. I did it like four times and I was like, I like these um, very complex passwords, but it's just got to be uppercase letters, lowercase letters or numbers, and then you'll be able to actually link it properly. So now that this is done, let me show you how it actually active tracks to prove that it, it works like that. Okay, so now that you've powered on the Raven Eye, you powered on the device, you've connected the Roan app, you've Bluetooth um, connected, or no, Wi-Fi connected to your Raven Eye, now you just select the object, like, like so, and it has it in, in its view, and you can then move your camera, and it follows. Look at that, folks. Like... You do not have to do anything. Active Track is a solid piece of technology, and I totally recommend getting the Raven Eye. I'll put a link below to the Pro package for the DJI RS2 and the Raven Eye because it's amazing and it's pretty simple. Again, I'll, I might be making another video um, on some of the things that I learned from the setup. It's a little tricky. Don't give up on connecting. The real trick is to um, update the firmware on the Raven Eye right away and uh, to make sure you connect. When you open the Ronin app, to the um, DJI first, and then you go to connect the 
Raven Eye through your Wi-Fi settings to it. And that's how it goes. And then you can active track all day, all night. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in another video.